simple. Tomorrow we'll try something unusual. We got to the hotel, dropped the bags, changed, and decided not to lose any time and go straight to Petronas Towers and check them out. Same as many other tourists, we just couldn't get enough of taking selfies and million video shots with this truly magnificent piece of architecture. We walked around for a bit to get the feel of the city, see what's around and if there is anything where we may want to go later. At a first glance, Kuala Lumpur Center looked like any other center of a big metropolis. It is vibrant and busy with heavy traffic, but it has its own personality. Our walk didn't last long since it grew cloudy and started to drizzle. We decided it's better to head indoors and see what Kuala Lumpur Shopping City Center has to offer. Let's walk through the main entrance of Petrona Towers. Are you in the mood to shop? Because we're going into one of the biggest malls in Kuala Lumpur. Biggest mall. Biggest you should mall. know. Okay, so we're two. Let's go down the elevator. I'm starting to feel hungry. And it's not good to shop on an empty stomach. Let's take a look at what food options they have here. Chicken rice. Looking for a place to eat when you're hungry at an unfamiliar mall is not an easy task. You can always go with Subway or even worse, McDonald's. But we're desperate to try something new. Assam. Assam is what? Ayam is chicken. Assam? I don't know. Let's walk more. The food court is located on the second floor. If you're up for some fast food, that's the place to be. But I laid my eyes on one of the restaurants located on the fourth floor. Madame Quan. She looks happy. I don't know why it's so busy. Number one spot? We're gonna line up to look at the menu. How messed up is that's that? That's the first one. Yeah. So, we've made it. They're excited to eat. Food! How many options? We're at the Madame Kwan restaurant at Surya Mall and it seems like it's a super busy place with locals and tourists. It seems to be very, very popular. We're just looking through the menu trying to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner and I just saw that Heineken is 10 bucks, almost 10 bucks. Today for dinner we're trying bandung. It's a local drink. On the bottom there is rose cordial syrup condensed milk and some jelly. I'm guessing it's gonna be really sweet. And for myself, for dinner, uh, I'm gonna have curry laksa. I tried it before and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's so rich in flavor and so delicious. It's spicy as hell, but that's what makes the dish. And Jack is having a pretty boring meal tonight. This restaurant has everything made with shrimp and that's a no-no for him, so we decided to order some mushroom meat dish with some uh, morning glory, some chicken breast, and some kind of noodle. And of course, a broth, a chicken broth. Sorry, Jack, mine is way more exciting. After our quick and very inexpensive dinner, we continued our walk through Surya Shopping Center. It is a six-story mall, very clean, fully air-conditioned, with over 400 stores to choose from. Shopping! Sit down, sit down.
The variety of stores is very impressive. The brands are mostly organized by floors, from high-end designer brands on one level and more of the wallet-friendly on the other. You can spend here pretty much the whole day just shopping and dining. We have actually discovered to ourselves quite a few new brands. For whatever reason, they don't have physical stores in Toronto, where we're from. So to us, it was a great opportunity to actually try and see their products firsthand. After browsing a few stores, we did actually find something that stole my heart and saved my bag store. To be honest, we didn't have the budget nor room in our luggage to do any kind of crazy shopping. But it's always nice to just walk around, feast your eyes on all the shiny and creatively decorated storefronts. However, if high-end brands is what your heart desires, then you're at the right place. The selection of designer stores is endless, offering best brands in clothing, footwear, jewelry and accessories. All under one roof, which makes it very convenient. When it comes to prices, we find that most international brands have pretty much the same standard price whether you shop in Kuala Lumpur, New York or Toronto. The only difference would make the sales taxes. But if you are going for luxury brands, the price will probably be your last concern. If you get tired of flashy storefronts, there are quite a few other attractions such as art gallery, aquaria and a nearby KLCC park. We might explore this attraction some other day. Today was a long day and it's time for us to wrap it up, but not before I get myself one more little present. We had a great time at the Syria shopping mall in Kuala Lumpur. It's a very big and beautiful mall. It's really well organized and it has an incredible selection of stores. And to remember this great day, we decided to get a little souvenir. It's a Pandora charm to add to my huge Pandora collection and it's a dancing dragon. You can only get this charm in Asia because it signifies the upcoming lunar year. What am I getting? Nada. What am I getting? Nada. <laughs> For my collection. It doesn't look like I'm, like, I'm uh, getting anything. You got a hat. Ta-ta! When we got outside, it seemed like the rain has just stopped. It was humid, but the air was refreshing. We called an Uber and had to our hotel to rest for the night. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more episodes from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia.